Good morning, George Washington Elementary School. This is Ms. Schwartz, and I'm live from my house. Today is Friday, April 17th. The virtue of the week is optimism. When we call on optimism, we do not allow ourselves to be victimized by setbacks or losses. We embrace challenges with confidence and vitality. We are solvers, not complainers. In the midst of dark times, we look to the future with a vision of what is possible. We trust that everything works together for good. Nothing can destroy our hope. Today is National Haiku Poetry Day. Observed annually on April 17th, National Haiku Poetry Day encourages all to try their hand in creativity. Haiku poetry is a form of Japanese poetry that is non-rhyming and usually consists of three lines with a syllable pattern of five, seven, five. Usually an element of nature, a season, moment of beauty, or an individual experience inspires haiku poems. Sensory language is used to capture a feeling, image, or moment. And now I'm going to share with you an original haiku poem wrote to you, written for you by the glorious Mrs. Price. Hard to stay inside. Optimism will help guide us safely through time. Happy birthday tomorrow to Tion Wills. Have a great birthday weekend. Shout out to a Daisy Okiki, Ryan Robinson, and Amori Hicks for logging into their Amplify accounts. If you haven't signed in, you can get your login information from your teacher. Amplify has a lot of great resources, so log in. Song of the Week is Love Train by the OJs. Sing Along starts today at 3. Go to Mrs. Price's music class and click on the link to sing along. And next week's song will be announced. Bravo, everyone, for a great week two of online learning. We are so proud of you for working so hard. Keep calling on optimism in this challenging time. Now, everyone, stand up. Come on, please stand up for the sword chant on 8. Five, six, seven, eight. Steadfast, on task, ambitious, respectful. GW Eagle soar. Have a fabulous Friday and a glorious weekend. We will see everyone on Monday. Bye.